Hello, welcome to episode 169 of Will is the Answer. I'm Marie. And I'm Dominique. Got it, got it, got it. Got it, got it, got it. Oh, now. I was wondering if you'd remember three o'clock. I, d- I had remembered, I just, you know, as is customary, just wasn't ready. Well, no, you were you were on time, but I was just thinking. Oh, I wonder if you've remembered it's three o'clock and yeah. you're not in the shed. No, I had. I mean, I'm not got changed or done anything, but you know, I'm here. It's three o'clock. We're ready to go. Exactly. Oh. Well, nearly. Um, nearly ready to go. Have you got your pen? You got your notepad? I've got pen, notepad, just writing it in. What are we? What episode 169? 169 <gasps> on Friday, the 28th of July, 2023. There, that's it. Ready? That's Every- it. information. Hello, everybody. Oh, that's the other thing I needed to do. Just get it up so I can see everybody. I mean, back's killing me again today. I'm sat with my heat pad on. Hi, Linda. I'll try and there not we move. go. I'll try now not move too much. Oh dear me! It feels funny being here at three o'clock. But it's been a long time, I think, since we were with you at three o'clock on a Friday. Because we missed some. Then we did a Thursday evening. Then we've done a. Friday at six o'clock, so we're back with you at our usual time. We've just not been at our usual time for a while. I know. It's been ages, hasn't it? Um, shall we go? I think you can start off today. Um, right, okay. Have you got something there? I have got something. Hello, hello. Um, um, I've got a cast off. Oh, go on then. Let's have a look at your cast off. Well, it was still drying, so the ends are not woven in. It was still drying ten minutes ago, but because it's the twenty eighth of July, my Christmas in July is done and blocked now. Oh, well done, well done. You've got it finished. So it got finished on time. Beautiful. Other than these two, which. Just, mm. I don't particularly like, but the others, I really, really like it. Nice. They so, jar a little bit, don't they, with the colours? Yeah. Yeah. But, do you know what? It's, it's just going to be a throw around, it's slightly damp still, throw around your neck when you don't need too thick, but you just want a bit of something. Yeah. So, um, nice. Really I've nice. Got, I blocked it and the eyelets have come out now. So, so what were the last few colours then that we haven't seen? So I think you've only not seen because I think I was about to cast uh, yeah, we haven't seen that one. We'd seen the two brownie colours, but we haven't seen that one. So that what... one was I was ready to go with that one, and it was. I've got all my labels oh, all my ordered. That was James Makes Yarn. A dyer I'd never heard of, and that was jelly beans at Christmas. Oh, and yeah. then the last one, which although it's definitely not my colour, it is really pretty. That oh, I've not got a name for it. That was a lay on the yarn one, but there was no name. Right. Look so like sherbet. We'll go for sherbet. Well, it's purple. It looks palmer violet to me. Oh, does it? Oh. oh. Yeah, it could be palmer violet. Like it's a pale, it's a pale one. So the ones I think are the most, the ones that you could definitely, you can see, is your love hearts. Yeah. And then your flumps. Yeah. They are two that are definitely ones nice. that you know what they are. So Very good. like I suddenly realised, well, we didn't need to guess because it said on the information that I got with it this year our theme is sweet treats so I didn't need to I didn't need to guess but it was not I really enjoyed it she's not doing a charity one this year um it was Helen Giddy Yarns but it was nice to find some new to me dyers yes yeah 
try um, there were quite a few that. in that in in, yeah, in the, the, quite a few yeah the, there was so um and some that i do know but i'd not knit with so it was really nice yeah my two least favorite oh. ones were them two because not just because they jar but they're not my colors at all yeah so um well, but that you know, was that's the thing when you're doing it when you're doing a you don't know what you're getting do you that's no the fun that's the fun you don't you don't at all so that was the mini skein sampler by crystal bergstrom nice sonnet of the moon i mean it's it's a free pattern it is a really simple pattern and clearly you can make it as wide or really as narrow as you want so it's really quite that's oh, it in half yeah really nice so for 12 20 grams for 120 grams it's got a really nice long scarf haven't you it's got to be three meters i would think long so it just needs well it just needs to be completely dry and the ends woven in and that's that done that was my Christmas in July, so oh, well done. I well, don't know what I'll do this year because I've not got a another advent to save, but you never know. There's still time. There is, or I might do like Caroline did for her birthday last year and just wrap myself. Yeah. You know, as I go along, yeah, yeah. I've got things finished wrap them up and then you've got another advent because you'll forget you won't know what oh, it is will. will you so you know, um we'll forget what, what we did last week Dominic so wrapping something exactly. up now, you. so it sat in there all year and I think it's going to stay sat in there because why not why not but yeah a really nice simple I like the transition I just like the eyelets transition from one colour to the next um yeah it looked neat I so myself a strong coffee i've already been yawning twice already i'm oh, so sorry yeah. i apologize well so, i've got a i've got a um a secondary cast off that's what i'm going to call it a secondary cast okay because i've cast it off once but then i've added uh, to it. yes so yes 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 my love note jumper that was short sleeved and cropped is now Long sleeved and a bit longer. You can tell where you've joined, but it doesn't look odd. No, you can tell. You can but, tell there because it's a bit like there's more white in it. Yeah, there is. But you know what? I don't really care. I don't think no. it's, not, it is not, it's not as noticeable on the back. I mean, it's not, it doesn't really jump out at you. Well, it does because I can see it. But do you know what I mean? It doesn't jar. And when you've got it on and it like <coughs> up, you don't notice it. So no. I'm really pleased with it. So I've still got um I mean I should have weighed it. I've got a little bit left of the so I've done it in less than 200 grams of, of. um four ply sparkle. Um but yeah, I'm really happy with it. It fits nice, it's a much better length, and it's more wearable. So 200 grams of four ply or less than 200 grams of four ply sparkle. It's my coronation soon. Yes. Any idea how much fluff you used? Um, I used um, three and a bit balls of the... Um... Sheepy's yeah. Rhythm. Yes, that's the one. Sheepy's Rhythm. Let me get me... I can show you how much I've got, but I haven't weighed it. I've wedged it. I'm trying not to move too much. Right, hang on a minute. Right, so I have got not much left. I've got that much left of the... It's my yeah. combination soon. I would say probably about 30 grams there. Less than that. Oh, no, there's more. There's quite. It's still quite dense in the middle. Okay. I would say, yeah, I'll measure it later. Then the... I've probably got half a ball of that left. Oh, yeah. Um, so, and I've yeah, never so been... Are they 50 gram balls? 
think they're 25 grand balls. Oh, are they? Yeah. Yeah, probably are mohair, yeah. aren't they? 75 yeah. pounds, well, yeah. Well, yeah, I'm really happy with it. And to say, like, you know, they were completely dyed at a different time. I don't think it looks too bad. I'm happy with it. I and mean, you can't tell on the sleeves because they look different anyway, don't they? Yeah. I mean, the sleeves, the only difference with the sleeves is they just do look a whiter colour. But you know what? I'm happy. Yeah. So that's um, that's finished. I won't be messing about with it anymore. Um it didn't take me too long, so I'm pleased I've got that done because that was one of my jobs for this week to get that finished. Um, which is then meant while I'm on with it's my coronation soon. Oh yes, I've got my two sleeves now, and I'm I'm not making it a long cardigan. I just want it just so it's below my waist. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I think I am about, and again because I'd run out. I'm using two different balls, like the bits of ones I've got left with the new one, because the one, yeah, just to, so you don't but you know. Can't, I mean, you can't see, no. certainly on camera, that it doesn't look like you've changed. No, it doesn't, because it did originally, because, um, and again, it was a bit lighter, so I've just, right. I, I had some bits of balls left, because I did a, used one ball from each sleeve, rather than doing a half and half. So yes. I took left over those. But I'm about now, because I've got to replicate this bit here on the cup, yeah. on the bottom. I'd say I've probably got another inch to do, and then I'll, I've got that to finish. So, yeah. So Another yeah. inch to do, and then the lace bit. Yeah. 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 So I don't want, like I say, I just want it, so it's just past my waist. Um, so, yeah, so that's both the, it's my coronation soon. So once that's off the needles... Um, I can concentrate on some other things. And what was the cardigan? The cardigan is a net. The net cardigan. Um, by Baroque Knits. I've yes. just had to look back. Yes, by Baroque Knits. Um, a free pattern. So it's a nice pattern, that. And we that's a double knit one, isn't it? Pardon? That's a double knit one. Yeah, double knit one. And it's yeah. a bit of a weird construction, but it fits really nicely on the shoulders. Um, it was nice because although it's fairly straightforward to knit now because it's just loads of backwards and forwards, you're still having to think a little bit because you've got at each end you've got the little bit of the lace detail. So, oh, down. Yeah, down the front. Bye. Yeah. So, so you don't you yeah. don't have to pick up stitches and do any of your neck band no, or anything. Nothing. It's already on there. Already there. It's already done. Um, so that's nice. So, um, yeah. So they're my two one cast off. And that is hopefully by next week, I should have that cast off. That's my challenge for this week to get that cast off and my socks, um, which I'll show you in a little bit. What have you got? What else have you got? I was just, I was just weighing them because I, I finished my um, Edward VIII on my blanket. So I suddenly thought, I've weighed all the others. It's strange because I had 16 grams left, 15 grams left, and then only 10 grams of each of them. Well, I, it's weird because my blue is the smallest one. Weird. Them two are identical. Weird. They're both 10 grams, but the I wonder if it's a different batch of undyed wool. You know, out the wool we yeah, get yeah. before. Who knows? Strange, isn't it? Very odd. Or maybe your tension's just changed. Yeah, it might have done. I don't think so. So this is, I'm ready to go. Hopefully all of you should, Judith, you might not have. Don't worry, I'm not showing you. I'm not showing you George the Sixth. Um, but hopefully George the Sixth should have arrived with everybody yes, now, shouldn't it? Yeah, maybe not Judith. Yeah. Um, so um, there we go. Lovely. I'm ready to go. I kind of, I don't, I do want to keep going, but I like it so much. I kind of just want it to stop like that. I keep draping it like that and thinking that would make a really nice jumper. It would make a nice jumper or a poncho, you know, just like, just join the top, bottom. Yeah. 
Well, if I change my mind, I'll just go back and in the middle of that one, cut a hole and where well, it was a poncho. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I just keep sitting with it thinking, I really like that. So yeah, you could do, couldn't you? Yeah. Just chop a hole. Um, so I had that much, whoops. That was my first ball of undyed. It's really strange speaking to people because some are out like me, only just going into the second ball and some are well into the, the no, well into, into the their second ball. ball. Yeah. So the last four undyed rows I did there, I've gone on to the second ball, but nice. that is, that's really what I've been knitting on this week to catch up. So I'm ready to start George the sixth. Can you believe um, we've only got two more left after this one? You I know. know. Well, that that one was halfway. Hard to believe, isn't it? You know. Hard so to yeah. Hard to believe. So while we're talking about it, Elizabeth the second is now available to order, um, which will then go out. What month are we on? Beginning of September. You'll get it before the beginning of August. Yeah, you'll get it before the beginning of September. So yes. Elizabeth the second is now there. Um, yeah. So yeah. don't forget to order it, all those that have been going all the way along. And so, don't, but every now and again, we get a message from someone saying, oh, I've missed it. Don't worry. We if you if you've had it all along, you will always get it. Yes. So don't yes. worry. So, um, oh, I'm pleased everybody's saying they like the, the colour. Yeah, I've got to say the new colour, uh, I say this every time, is my favourite colour. Yeah. I really, really like this new one, really pretty. Um, so, well, you need again, Dominique. We'll see. I can't keep getting better and better, but by the end of it, we'll have a vote and see which is the now. Maybe it's just because it's new and exciting. Yeah. And you've seen all the others, so you've got used to I think them. Because but... there's so many different colours within that one colour. That's what I like. And like you were saying, when you're knitting or crocheting it, you see the different colours coming into it. It's really yes. to see how you can you can see the difference in it. I've yes. Got, let me see. Mine. You can. It's hard. Oh, I was just saying, Marjorie and Tracy are working on theirs. So oh. that, that's that's mine. I mean, you can see a little bit of. The different See, tones in it. I think yours looks like there's much darker bits and then lighter yeah. bits. Yeah, it's really. But I don't know whether it's just with it being the crochet that you yeah. get more of the stitches together. Yeah, because that's what I was just looking at, and I it is there on mine, but maybe it's just because oh. it's long yeah, you thin can rows, see, aren't you? The difference in the shades. Yeah, it's really pretty. Oh, I nearly yeah. got me the ball out there, but I won't. Oh, no, don't. Um, but no, it's going to be a nice size. Oh, Tracy's got a new favourite. I know. Thank you, Tracy. I'm saying Tracy every, every time. It keeps coming up, I'm thinking, yeah, this is my new favourite. I like the blue. The blue was nice, but the new one, yeah, definitely. Yeah, so, I, I just, I think I need to make a jumper in that colour. I need to make a jumper in the new one. Yeah. So, and like we said before, those of you, if you've not had, if you've not been joining in with us, at the end of it all, at some point, we will release the colours because they yeah. seem to have been so popular. So they will be available at some point in the at future. Point, yeah, not straight away, but some point in the future. Yes. Um, sorry. Um, um, phone's beeping. So yeah, Elizabeth II is now available. And then after that, we've just got Charles. Yeah. Flipping egg. So Elizabeth will go out for the 1st of September. Charles will go out for the 1st of October. So by Halloween, we'll all be if, you've, up. if you've oh, kept up with it, yeah. you'll be snuggled under your blanket when they all come trick or treating. Exactly, exactly, just in time. Just in time for winter. Yes, just in time for it to get much cooler. You can get wrapped up and watch our podcasts while you're wrapped up in the winter blanket. And don't panic that we're nearly at the end. Plans are already afoot for next year. Yes, 
we have been cajoled. Yes. Cajoled. Bullied, I think it's a different... No, it's not really bullied. We didn't cajoled. take much bullying. Cajoled into another project. So yeah. watch this space. If you've yeah. enjoyed it or you've missed out on it and you want to join in, watch this yeah. space. Yeah. Uh, oh, and while we're talking about orders and things, thank you so much to everybody for the advent Christmas, whatever we're calling it, they've all gone now. So yes. I'm sorry if you haven't got it, that's it. Um, we only had a limited number that we were doing and they've sold like hotcakes. They just hot mince pies, should we say? Yes, yeah, like hot mince pies. It has been amazing how quickly they've all gone. So um, thank you. Yes, dying starts maybe. This evening, but definitely tomorrow. Yeah. Have you got through your 36 list of jobs? No. Have, have no. you got any of your jobs or have you just added uh, more? I got all of yesterday, all of yesterday's jobs ticked off, and I've probably got half of today's. I've been faff, not being faffing, I've been busy all morning, but with things that weren't on the um, list. So, and die day one of the, I keep calling it an advent, but you know. Christmas offering. Christmas offering was on the list for today, but we're not there yet. But we're nearly there. So if not, it'll just get rolled over. Yeah. Um, we're trying to be organised, aren't we? Trying to be organised. Yes. Because... It'll soon be here. It will. You know, we're August next week. Yeah. And then we do have to turn our attention to Yarndell, Bakewell, Retreat, and then all of the afternoon teas. You know, yeah. so um, just while I see it went in and it's almost out straight away, um, just have fun, everyone that's going to the Summer oh, Wool Festival this weekend. Yeah. Um, I, I, saw, the, oh. I hope the weather's nice while Dominic sorts out for one there. Um, I hope the weather's going to be lovely. I don't know what the forecast is, but I just hope it's better than it's been the last couple of weekends with torrential rain. Well, when we did it, I mean, it was called Fibrisa, and when we did it, it was torrential rain on setup on the Friday, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. But I did see Joe Piccolilli was obviously in the passenger seat going down to it, knitting on her coronation yeah. blanket. Yeah. So, and um, Iris of Knitters Designs, um, who usually joins us at um, some of the shows. She's doing it on her own and she's got a little selection of some some of our wool for some of her shawls. Yes. Um, so she is there. Um, so go and say hello to Iris. Yeah, she's um, got all her patterns and samples yeah. with her. I think she's got an eldest daughter helping her this year. Yeah. And she's got a couple of our new shawls that we've had knit, um, of Iris's patterns that we've had knit in some of our new colours. Yes. Well, two, I think, two or three. So... Um, if you're not going to be able to get to the other shows, then you'll be able to see it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah. I've, I've, I don't know what I was going to say. I no, don't know what I was going to say. Either. Um, do you want to see a per? Well, my attic spin die. My yes. next installment of soft, which I am so behind on. I need to just get, yeah. They've gone. They've gone by the wayside. I've still got Tom Kitten on the needles. And I think I've had two or three since then. I don't know. I can't remember. So this is um, Benjamin, the tail of Benjamin Bunny. So a nice colour. Really like that. Like that Very orange nice. brown. That's nice. I'm not, <coughs> not an orangey person, but I really like those two colours together. That looks really nice. Um, and then there's a little Benjamin Bunny crochet. Oh, 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 you're going round. And a little watering can. Very nice. Um, I've got a bright pink, Barbie pink neon um, mini, or micro, should I say. Um, a obligatory tea bag, which this time is English breakfast. Very nice. Um, a little Benjamin bunny. Um, lavender bag. Very nice. Which just goes in my bag and that goes in with my blanket, my north easterly. I just keep adding those. And that tea will go on my tea stash. So, yeah, that's the next one that I'm behind on. Always. Just hold the colour up again. 
Yeah, very nice. Really pretty. Look at it. I do like that. Those colours together. Nice. Yeah, really nice. Yeah, pretty colours. So um, they will go in my stash and I will get round to them. But when you get round to them, they don't take too long, do no, they? No, don't. I've just had so much on recently. I've not had a chance to keep on top of things. So, yeah. um, yes, I'll just put that with the pile so I know where they are. You'll get back into it I in will. time for winter. I will. I mean, because I have been working on my Frankenstein socks. Not that that's what they're called. You know, yes. the Stephen West ones, but I've renamed mine my Frankenstein socks. Yes. Um, do you want to see them now? Let's see them now. So I've finished Clue 3. Clue 4 is already out. So I would, it's all over social media anyway. But if you don't want to see it, don't look. Um, I have given them a little bit of a block this morning. They do look a bit better, to be honest. But they still feel very textured. So from here, here, down, was this week, was week three. Yeah. So... Um, yeah, so I've blocked them a little bit, so they do look a bit better, but they're still they're still bobbly, and this is still bobbly. And week four is more texture. It's the last bit, so I need to get these finished this week, and then they're they're done. They're off yeah. the and needles. Um, but I love the colour. What what's it called? What's the pattern called? Um, it's it's called the Surprise Sock Along, but it's called the Colour Blast Socks, I think. There's two different names for it. But on social media, it's all known as the Surprise Sock Along. Um, but, yeah, yeah, very... Mm, I'm, I'm, it's because I'm not keen on loads of texture on my socks. Yeah. I mean, like we've said before, it does just look like he's, like, picked numbers out of a hat and decided how to put them in. Yeah, so I think the next bit is more of this honeycomb bit, more cabling and a bit more ribbon. So contrast colour blast. I knew there was another word. I couldn't yeah, think it was. Contrast colour blast. That's yeah, it. Um, I knew it was. So yeah, they're they're nearly done. And to say that I've I've done them shorter, so I did my rib a lot shorter because I don't like a long rib anywhere on a sock. I've done more than I would normally have done, and I did. That a couple of rows shorter, which he told you you could do. You know, you just this a little bit shorter. It would have been a long sock. It means a long yeah. sock there. Yeah. Um, so yeah, hopefully I'll have that cast off and my cardigan next week. I mean, the you know, I've said it now, won't I? The world will just conspire against me now and well you know, spanners in the works. You're not far off with your socks though, are you? No, and it's fairly, you know, the pattern is well written as usual. You know, his patterns are always well written and, and he does the videos and the videos are really good that you can follow it so if you don't want to read a pattern and you just want to watch him he covers everything so if you've not knit socks before it's a good way to you know to go through them if you've never done mosaic it's showing you a little bit of mosaic as well yeah but, um and yeah. he does show you if you're doing it on dpns or magic loop um anyway yes. yeah I mean, I think there's been a... Jane said she's going to be buried in her socks. It's, she's put so much work into them. Maybe they just need to go as a piece of artwork, like Dominique said, yeah. for the picture frame. Yeah. I will wear them, but probably as bed socks or just in the house socks, because I don't think I could cope with all that texture on my feet in a pair of shoes. No. They're not particularly practical socks for inside something <laughs> but i don't think so but that's my per some people do like yeah. textured socks and i just don't yes. like them. all yes. my socks if you've noticed that i knit they are just plain socks because they just don't like anything else on them i just like the yeah. wool talk but um i like it you know the pattern shows off the color wool doesn't it it, it, it yeah. re the contrast it, Colours that people have picked, it does look really nice. But yeah. So that's that's all my knitting done there. Everything. Got nothing else, got nothing else to show you. I've got one other thing. 
I feel like I've had all mine on the go. Oh, my Lord. I mean, this is, oh, to say, is beautiful. this is rushed. I was so, I mean, sewing these up, sewing it up and putting the ribbon through at about 10 to 3. So. That is so beautiful. But I absolutely. So is that a, it's a greeny sage colour, isn't it? Because it's. Yeah. It yeah. looks grey when you're holding it up there. Well, it's. It is. I was going to say sage, but then I was going to say blue. It's like, it's not grey. No. It's not really quite blue, or I suppose it's more towards the sage, but not as green as that. So. Well, there you hold it there. You can see it's green there. Before it just looked grey. It's really pretty, Dominique. Really, really, really nice. So, I mean, I've got. All of the ends still to, you know, the inside is a mess. I didn't think I was going to get them anywhere near done. And I sat down to have lunch at about half past one. And I thought, oh, I'm just going to do a bit more. And then I thought, oh, I think I might, I think I might be able to get them done. I just leave the ends, just tie a little knot in them because it's more insulation for your teapot. Well, that's what I think. But I just need to sort out because there's quite a bit of, changing of colours and like you just do two rows oh yeah it's in the middle beautiful. there and but then the you get the ribbon that came with it as well um I mean, it looks nice I, thought, it that. I really really like it so i just put it on there oh nice. there is a right and a wrong way because I've done it to fit the handle and the spout and they're at different heights. So there's actually a right and a wrong way. So That's I'll get good. them all finished and, well, I'm not going to block it. Why am I blocking a tea cosy? Why I mean, it will, bring, cosy? it will bring the fair aisle out, but we don't need to do that. And I've still got oh my all, Lord, of that, Lord. all of that left. So I Is couldn't all apply. No, I think it's probably double knit because you do it on three and a half and four mil needles. So I'm going to say it's double knit. But I could be wrong. But there were, it was 350 grams. And other than the sagey grey. Yeah. I've got, like, so I'm going to do it again at some point, not straight away. I'm going to do it again and swap the colours around. Nice. And I'll definitely get another one out. I might even get two out of it. And then there can be Christmas presents. Yes, yeah, pretty. It's really pretty design. Really, like, nice. Really, really nice. So yeah. it's designed by Helen Connington for Wensleydale Longwall Sheep Shop. And it's Wensleydale Longwall Sheep Shop wool. Yeah, the colours are fab. Really, really nice. So, did you um, choose that colourway, or was it, um... it? In as much as I got it at Cumbria, the Cumbrian Wool Show, and Kath had got quite a few out, but there were different colours. She'd put right. them in different colours, yeah. so they they were in packs, but there were slightly different colours. I think. I'm sure nice. there were, but that was the one I picked because I really liked it. Yeah. So, nice. Looks lovely. Um, yeah, because I'm sure she will have had that, that colourway. Yeah, that looks very um, Christmassy to me. That one on the front is it red on the front or is it pink? Red. Uh, well, it's got a really light pale pink ribbon, but then the middle's pink. Oh, well, oh, I see. Yes, I can see it's pink now. But I think the top might be, I think it might all be pink. Yeah, Linda's saying the tank top's DK, so I think it'll be the same. I think it will. Nice. I think because our DK's so plumpy. Yeah. Sometimes it doesn't feel as plumpy, but yeah. So re I really enjoyed that, that. Plumpy. Plumpy. Um, I, re I really enjoyed that, and I've got... I'll weigh it later and tell you how much I've used of the 150 grams, but really not a lot. Um, and 
I did them two at a time because it's quicker. Yeah. No. Um, yeah, because he said it wasn't knitting the round, was it? It was two separate bits that you just joined together. Yes, because you'd have to just keep casting on and off for your holes, wouldn't you? So the team mitten that I did in my It's Coronation, that was done in the round. Mm. It was done in the round at the bottom, but then between the two holes, you went backwards and forth. So and then, just, and then just picked it up again. Yeah. 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 So other than, I don't particularly, I can knit, I knit with yarn in both hands doing Fair Isle, but I can't purl with it in both hands. Right. I could have taught myself, but I thought it was quicker just to drop it and pick it up. So yeah. that's, excuse me, that's the only thing, not doing it in the round, you're having to do Fair Isle purl. But, yeah. you know, I've got it done in a fortnight, so I'm pleased with that. Mm. And, and yeah, it's very good. Pretty and I like the colour, so it's not. I didn't have time to make a pot. Have you got but anything I, else on the go? I will use it. No, so that's two things, two casts off I've had this week, and I've finished my this month's coronation. So I've got next month's coronation blanket to do, and then I. I've been tempted. I, I've been tempted since March with the Prairie Top by Tin Can Knits, and I thought I was going to cast it on, but I just cannot. I cannot decide what colour I want to do it in. So I'm well, going back. Double knit. double knit. I think I want to do it in Edward the Eighth, but I can't do that yet. So. Um, It's been, it's been in my, I keep going back to it and thinking, right, I'm going to cast it on and I just can't decide what yeah. colour to do it in. So it'll come to me. One day it'll just come to me. So I'm going to go back to my Christmas jumper that's not had any love for a couple of months, I think. And I do need something else. I've just seen McLean out the corner of my eye. I think I'm going to do a hat in McLean that I've got left. Because I'm not going to do a pair of socks, I don't think, because I don't wear them. But I want to use up McLean. So yeah. I thought, what else can you do with 100 grams of double knit? So I thought a hat. Or a cowl? Would you wear a cowl? No. No. No, I wouldn't. Fingerless mitts, maybe? Yeah, wristies. Yeah, maybe wristies. Yeah. I don't know. So I kind of just want something small and quick because my Christmas jumper is yeah. fair island, takes quite a bit of brain power. My blanket's fine. Or I could just go back to my scrappy blanket. I've, yeah. I've got no... I want to do something with the McLean, I think. Yeah. But, yeah, mm -hmm. so... Suggestions for a uh, pattern, hat or wristies, I think, for 100 grams of double knit. Or something that's just not socks or a cowl. Yeah. Or In it could position. be Aaron weight because I can hold the full oh, yeah, yeah, grey with it. Yeah. Yeah, good idea. Is anybody going to the um, Summer Wool Festival then? Anybody who's watching going? Yeah. yeah. Um, I know it's, I suppose it's Bedford, isn't it? Is it Bedford? Yeah, yeah. Bedfordshire, yeah. 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 I, I mean, mean, I take it they still have the marquees outside, do they? Well, that's what I was just going to say. It's the, first, it it's the first year in this, as the Summer Wool Show, isn't it? Fiber East used to be a really nice Did show. It last year? I thought it was on last year. Oh, I mean, I thought it was on last year. But it could have been. I'm going to look. I don't know why I thought it was the first one. Summer Wool Festival. Uh, 
Um, so I don't know, but it, you, it, it's in a school and there used to be three marquees yeah. in one of the playgrounds. Yeah. I wonder if it's still got the outdoor, whether it's all just indoor now. Now, for those of you who used to visit the Fiber East event, which has now stopped running, our summer, well, summer wool festival picks up from where Fiber East left off. So that's... I thought it was them last year, though, Summer Wool last year. I thought they did it last year. Could be wrong. It all morphs into one. Yeah. Anybody know that's watching? Not that it makes any difference. No, it makes, I just it wondered makes if no you'd be... at all, but it is yeah. a really nice... It was a really nice... We went as visitors and then we exhibited there, didn't yeah. we? So, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, we stayed yeah. in a really nice be um, Airbnb, didn't we? Oh, I don't remember where we stayed. I can't remember whoever had, had really posh cars. Can't you remember? Oh, was that there? Yeah. Right. Yes, I do I remember bit, now. It's like attached to a, was it like a stables or a yes. farm or something? It was yes. really nice. Yeah, it was nice yes. where we stayed. Yeah, yeah, really nice. Yeah. Um, good stuff. But, um yeah, I'd be interested to know if they still do exactly the same or I'm sure they've got their own twist on it, haven't they? Yeah. Yeah. It's difficult, isn't it? Because when a show like that works really well, do you just pick it up and go with it? Or do you try and put your spin on it yeah. and people go... Because it was a little bit like Cumbria. Cumbria. Although Cumbria was definitely did not take over from Kendall Wall Gathering, people were still comparing the two. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, but it's painful, isn't it? To oh, it, keep it, it going. Is. It is, but it was. It's yeah, it's difficult, isn't it? Because you've still got people assuming it is just Fiber East and the different guys yeah. going. Well, it used to be didn't used to be like this, or yeah. um, a bit different, or whatever. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So I'm looking forward to seeing pictures. See yeah. how yeah, we wait for we'll speak to Iris and see. See how she gets on, but oh, last year was the first year. Caroline saying, uh, I, th I yeah. thought it had been last year. I thought because I, I know the. I remember when they said Fiber East wasn't running. I seem to think. Sorry, I, th I seem to think it was on last year. So oh, oh, right. interesting. Let's see. Yeah. Oh dear me! Well, I've got nothing else. Nothing else to show. No, I haven't. No, that's it. I mean, a very, very, very short and sweet this week. Yeah. Um, don't forget, Elizabeth is on the website now. I know some of you have already been ordering, so Elizabeth is on the website. Everybody should have hopefully got George the Sixth. George the Sixth, yeah. Um, I mean... We're into August next week, so we've got afternoon tea in August, which is sold out. Yes. The next one after that's October. Still got some spaces for that. And December, there might be one or two. Yeah, we're getting close to being sold out in, in Christmas, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Yeah. Yeah, so, oct October, there's definitely still some. But yeah. yeah, August afternoon tea just seemed like, such a long way away and no. but like I said with the blanket three weeks away it, I can't believe that we're down to the last two colours you know to me yeah. when we started it I thought oh it's going to feel like it's going on forever and it's yeah. gone so quick I can't believe yeah. it and the weather's been kind it's not been boiling hot so I've not been too hot knitting it either bonus at the minute Right, well, there's no point in us just rubbishing on, is there, for the sake no. of rubbishing on? So no. um, we'll see you next week. Who knows what date it'll be? Who knows what time it'll be? Just watch social media to find just out when we'll be here. Watch this space. Watch this space. So have a good weekend, everybody. Yes, and, um, enjoy your knitting or crochet or whatever or you are doing. Just 